Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to load chat message in this Codeigniter chat application by using Ajax. In previous part, we have seen how one user can send chat message to another user. In this chat application, now we want to load chat conversation made done between two user. For this, we have go to chatview.php file, and here we have make load chat data function, with two argument, like receiver id, and update data. Under this function, we have start write ajax request, and in first option, we have write url option, and here we have write base url function, with chat slash load chat data, so it will send request to load chat data method of chat controller. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method, for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we define which data we want send to server. So here we have defined receiver id variable value, update data variable value, has been sent as data. In fourth option we have write data type, and here we have defined JSON, so it will receive data in JSON format. Lastly in Ajax request, we have write success callback function. This function has been called, if request completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write HTML variable is equal to blank value. Next, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable is equal to zero. Count variable value is less than the value of data dot length, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, we have write HTML variable, and here we have append HTML code like division tag with class is equal to row, style is equal to Martin left property set to zero, and margin right property set to zero. Next, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data count index dot message direction is equal to write. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And here we have write HTML variable, and here we have append HTML code like division tag with the line is equal to left. Under this, we have write span tag with class is equal to text muted, and between this, we have write data count index dot chat messages date time, it will display chat message date and time. After this, in this block of code, we have again write HTML variable, and here we have append HTML code like, division tag with class is equal to medium column 10, alert and alert warning class. But suppose above if condition falls, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write HTML variable, and here we have append HTML code like division tag with text align write. Under this, 
we have write span tag with class is equal to text muted, and for display chat message date time, here we have write data count index dot chat messages date time. Next, we want to display chat message, so here we have write HTML variable, and here we have write data count index dot chat message text. It will display chat message. So, all chat message will store under HTML variable. In HTML format, now we have write dollar with division tag id chat body dot HTML method. And under this we have write HTML variable. It will display all previous chat messages under chat body division tag. Now we have go to chat controller. And here we have make load chat data method. This method will receive Ajax request for fetch chat message data. Under this method, we have write if statement. And under condition, we have write dollar post receiver ID variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write receiver ID variable is equal to dollar post receiver ID variable. Below this, we have write dollar sender ID variable is equal to dollar session user ID variable. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post update data variable value is equal to yes. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar this, with chat model object, with update chat message status method. With dollar sender ID variable, this method will update message value. Now we have go to chat model, and here we have make update chat message status method, with argument like dollar user ID variable. Under this method, we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key chat messages status, and in value we have write yes. Below this, we have write dollar this, with database object, with where method, and under this we have write receiver id table column name, and dollar user id variable, it will add method in update query. Next again, we have write dollar this variable, with database object, with where method, with two argument, in first argument, we have write chat messages status column name, and in second argument, we have write no. After this, we have write dollar this, with database object, with update method, with two argument, in first argument we have write chat messages table, and in second argument, we have write dollar data variable, this method will make update query, and it will update data. Now we have go to chat controller, and here we have write dollar chat data variable is equal to, dollar this with chat model object with fetch chat data method, with two argument like dollar sender id, and dollar receiver id variable, this method will fetch chat data. Now we have go to chat model class, and here we have make fetch chat data method with two argument, 
In first argument we have write dollar sender ID variable, and in second argument we have write dollar receiver ID variable. Under this method, we have write dollar this with database class object with where method and under this we have write sender id is equal to dollar sender id variable or sender id is equal to dollar receiver id variable next we have again write dollar this with database object with where method and under this we have write receiver id is equal to dollar receiver id variable or receiver id is equal to dollar sender id variable after this we have write dollar this with database object with order by method with two argument in first argument we have write chat messages id table column name and in second argument, we have write ascending order. Lastly, we have write return statement, with dollar this variable, with database class object, with get method, and under this we have write chat messages table, it will make select query and execute it. Now we have go to chat controller, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar chat data variable, with num rows method value is greater than zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar chat data variable with result method as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write dollar message direction variable is equal to blank value. Next, we have write if statement and under condition. We have write dollar row sender id variable value is equal to dollar sender id variable value. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And here we have write dollar message direction variable is equal to write. But suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar message direction variable is equal to left after this we have write dollar date variable is equal to date function with two argument in first argument we have write date time format and in second argument we have write string to time function and under this, we have write dollar row with chat messages date time table column. This code will change date and time format. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write chat messages text. And in value we have write dollar row variable with chat messages text table column name. In second key, we have write chat messages date time. And in value we have write dollar date. In third key, we have write message direction. And in value we have write dollar message direction variable. This way. It will store all data in dollar output variable. Now we want to send data to Ajax request in JSON format. So here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method. And under this we have write dollar output variable. Next we have go to chat view.php file. And here in class user chat list block of code. Here we have called load chat data function with two argument 
In first argument we have write receiver ID variable, and in second argument, we have write yes. So, when we have click on any user name, then it will call load chat data function, and it will load chat conversation between that user, and it will also update message status also. After this, we have write set interval callback function, with 5000 millisecond, this function, will call this function on every 5 seconds. Under this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write receiver variable value is greater than 0, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have called load chat data function, with two argument, in first argument we have write receiver id variable, and in second argument we have write yes, it will load all chat message on every 5 seconds. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have login in John Martin account, and here we see one chat message has been sent to Adonis Martin, now we have refresh web page. After refresh of web page, here we can see chat box with disabled send button, and user list, so from user list, we have click on Adonis Martin user. After click on user, here we can see chat message history has been appear in chat body division tag, and this chat message will be update on every 5 second. Now we have go to Adonis Martin user account in other browser, here we can see John Martin in user list, so we have click on John Martin user. After click on user, here we can see chat message conversation of Adonis Martin and John Martin has been appear on web page. Now in Adonis Martin account, he has type message in chat box, and click on send button, after click on send message, chat box message has been opened in chat message conversation. Now we have go to John Martin account, and here we can see Adonis Martin message, so this way it will load chat message without refresh of web page. In next part, we will discuss. How display unread chat message notification.